begin with a News 5 investigation into daycare safety. It's an issue we've been looking into for months, ever since the death of Camden Johnson in Mobile. Last August, the five-year-old died while under the supervision of a faith-based daycare. Days after the news broke, News 5 requested the inspection reports for all faith-based daycares in Mobile County, and now we have our hands on them. News 5's Mary Smith is here in our studio. Mary, that is a big stack of documents. What have you learned? Well, Rosanna Mel, it's pretty overwhelming. This is actually 1,400 pages. One stack is delinquency reports or deficiency reports, I should say, and the other stack is evaluations, and you would be surprised just how many of these religious-based daycare centers in Mobile County are non-compliant. Back in September, News 5 requested inspection reports of all 57 faith-based daycare centers in Mobile County. This comes after a new law requiring faith-based centers that receive state or federal funding to get inspected was signed in 2017. The evaluation shows 56 of 57 faith-based child care facilities are non-compliant with standards. I think it's a rarity for a licensing worker to go into a facility and see everything being done correctly on any given day. Martin did inspections for the Division of Human Resources for years and says it's easy to violate what DHR calls the minimum standards. Violation can be anything from a plug uh, not being covered or uh, something missing out of a child's record, something missing out of a staff record. Also in the 1400 documents is the deficiency report for the community nursery and preschool academy. That's the daycare center where five-year-old Camden Johnson was left in a hot van. His body was allegedly dumped at the side of the road by the van's driver, Valerie Patterson, a convicted felon. In new regulations passed this year, background checks on employees are required by all child care centers. The deficiency report shows the first inspection at the community nursery and preschool was just two days after Johnson died on August 23rd. It cites the facility's drivers and vehicles don't meet the child care qualifications. Then another inspection about three weeks later on September 15th, it again states the facility's drivers and vehicles don't meet the child care qualifications. Then over a month later, on October 23rd, another inspection says the van drivers do not meet child care worker qualifications. But then on November 14th, no deficiencies were reported. And this is another very large stack of papers. This is the, uh, these are the minimum standards for daycare centers in the state of Alabama set by the Division of Human Resources. An expert that I talked to earlier today says that they really are minimum and we will be sorting through all of these papers over the next several weeks. So please stick with News 5 for how all of this data turns out. Reporting live in the studio, Mary Smith, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on.